Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I am irrationally excited to watch this video. Exploring German supermarket compared to American grocery store. That is exactly the type of thing that I would love to know. I would love to, I just want to be in the German supermarket. This is the closest I can get from the US to doing that. Just to explore, see how it's different. Let's see. This video I just made is for entertainment purpose only. I'm not saying what else would it be for? Germany is better. America is better. This is cheap. I think saying Germany or America is better can be pretty entertaining. But yeah, this is cheaper there. It's just to have fun to show you what I experienced in my country and what I experienced overseas. So just take it easy, hey. you know? <laughs> Trust me, I, I won't be too offended if you... Our, our grocery stores are trash, okay? So... Herzlich willkommen in Ihrem Kaufland. Kaufland is a brand new supermarket, just like Ralph's or Vaughn, something like this. Already sort of interesting to see this overhang here over the parking lot. You wouldn't see that here in the States. But look around here. You don't see any shopping carts in the parking lot. True. Because we're in Germany. Everybody brings their shopping cart back. Oh. Because yeah, you get yeah, your yeah. money back when you bring them back. See, in order to get a bag, you either get one of those plastic things or you put like one euro in there and you push it in here. Yeah, that's so neat. And then you can get it. And later on, you bring it back and you get your euro or your plastic thing back. I don't really know why would people bring it back if it's just a plastic. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm like, what is the incentive to get your plastic Chuck E. Cheese token back? It used to be a dollar or like one euro. Herzlich willkommen. You going shopping with mom, we need some food, we need some drinks. Alice in Blumenland. Dang. You can buy some nice flowers. Pretty beautiful little. Here they oh, got wow. like a travel agency. This looks more like a mall. See if they have any specials. Actually, it really looks like an airport. What? You go to Egypt for $589. Who's booking a flight to Egypt in the grocery Just store? One week, everything included, flight, or you go to, this is also Egypt. Also, if you're trying to sell like some place to go, you should probably have color photos. I'm just saying, just a little tip. Egypt, you fly from Dusseldorf to Antalya, Turkey, seven days for 947 days, hotel, flight, everything included, all you can eat, everything. That's pretty good. It's kind of like a Panda Express. Oh, Asia. look at that. Oh, I bet that's so Bistro. good. I would love to try it. How interesting would that be to go to Germany and try Asian food there? Like, because <laughs> American Asian is its own kind of thing. So what's, and then Asian food is its own thing. But what's Germans take on Asian food? Just that kind of thing. I need to Hasselmann. go. They have some bakery stuff. This is an amazing grocery Blutchen. store. They got everything here. Look at the blue wow. chip. Look at the bakery here. It's so much better. In Hishtia Bellino. They call them pick ears right here. <laughs> Ooh. This is a French baguette. Très bien. So many bread options. You can get your hair cut right here. You can get your hair cut. Okay, now they do have that in Walmart for some reason. Picture, printer, ink. A whole store for just Get your fingernails ink. done here. This is literally like a shop. Now we're gonna go see what are the prices here in Germany. Was für ein Preis, what a price. Look, you can buy some flowers for $2.99. Oh my God. That's actually extremely That's cheap. That's a bargain. They're normally like $10. Okay, so it's a bargain there too. Okay. Interesting. At Ralph's. Yeah, it would be about Trader 10 bucks Joe's. here for that, I, I feel like. Mom is comparing the prices. It's, oh. it's not so good. It's not so good. I'm not even sure what that is. Okay. You're not going to buy this one. Even though it says fresh spargel. I don't know what spargel Mom is. says no. Hold up, people. We're doing a little investigating. Spargo. Ger Garden asparagus. Hmm. Oh, it's not fresh, so we're not gonna buy that spargo. 
So I don't really know if this is expensive or not because I don't buy too much salad. Spinach, yeah, that is cheap, 129. It's like 499 at Trader Joe's. Hmm. Radieschen. It's funny to me that you guys have Trader Joe's and that you call it Trader Joe's. They, it's not like a German name. You cannot go wrong with the German potato. Or is he talking about America? He might be talking about America Those. with that. Kartoffeln, beste Speisekartoffeln. Those are shrooms, but I don't think those are the same shrooms you can get on Venice Beach. <laughs> the one on Venice Beach make you really happy. Yeah, I got that. Look what mom is buying, mushrooms, all the bio stuff, some grapes. Look how nice they look, the strawberries, tomatoes, salad. Here you can buy Maybach wine for $2.89. And when it says $2.89, that means it's already $2.89. There's no tax on it here. The tax is already included. So whatever price you see. Is that how it is for every item? That's the price you pay. Just for wine or for everything? It's not like you buy something for $50. And then you have to pay tax on it. Oh, for everything. 89 cents for the salad. <laughs> Bargain. Mom, is that spargel fresh? No. No? Which is a fresh spargel? Apfelmus, 99 cent. 2.99. Which one are you taking? A 99. Mom is saving. Billy got mom is saving money. What are you going to do with all that money you save? I like her. She's very happy. Go to Disneyland? No. Go to America to my son. Okay. Pasale, oh. pasale. Elotes, elotes. I guess this guy's brother lives in America, huh? Can or he get does. that one on Venice he's Beach, too. The Musa Mice. Oh, this is not uh, ananas from Hawaii. This is ananas. I think we have that brand here, too. From, uh, Del Monte. Del Monte. What is the name from the ananas in Hawaii? Uh... Dola. Oh yes, Dola. You've, you've been to the Dola factory. Yes, yes. How do I get as Maybe happy you can as explain that to me. The Dole <laughs> pineapple you can buy in LA for two dollars. If you fly to Hawaii and they make it in Hawaii, they charge you over five dollars. Makes no sense. Everything in Hawaii is insane. The price. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm shaking. <laughs> That's how nervous I am. This is my favorite one. The Gewurz ketchup. Mom. That's ketchup? Do you guys have Heinz? I actually grew up right by the Heinz factory. Never can have enough ketchup. That is such a bizarre ketchup bottle. Hella Gewürz ketchup for $2.79. I love it. <laughs> Was wollt ihr haben? Ma, oh, um. Ma, oh, um. Ooh, some German candy. When I was a kid, I used to love those. Not. Ma o mom. Okay, I've got to remember this stuff. I'm going to write this stuff down because I'm going to definitely order some candy like that and eat it. And, uh, well, we'll see how it so goes. So much anymore. <laughs> definitely you got to buy the Ahoy Browser. They're on sale for 59 cents. What is that? You know, they're almost like the pets. Remember pets? No. Haribo, <laughs> mach Kinder froh. Und now this Haribo stuff, yo yeah. Oh yeah. Der oh, yeah. Eben so. Huge in America. Everything Haribo. Good price, the best 59 gummies. cents. They have some at the 99 cent store in LA. Those bars in LA, cheaper. Hmm. Protein bars. Giotto, mm -mm, Italian. Sommerküchen, merci. It would be so much fun just to go here and try all these different oh, brands and the different foods. For two twenty nine, Schoko Kusa. They changed the name. It used to be a different name, but you okay, cannot say that I anymore. I need to try that too. Chips one fifty nine. Paprika. Lays. I think Sweet they're paprika. cheaper than in L.A. Oh, that's that is a lot cheaper. I mean, but a euro is worth more, right? When I come back to LA, I'm going to do a story about the most expensive supermarket in Los Angeles. Hero <laughs> oh, God. In Oslo. In There's one LA, in Venice. Huh? I've never been in there, but I, people tell me it's really expensive. Then go here to Indiana and see how much it costs. So as soon as I come about back, half. I'm going to do a vlog about it. Mom, are you going to buy me the Plätzchen? Wow. 
That's a good side. That's what the tryhards get for Valentine's for the Day. GIV. Huh? Napoli. Making the rest of us look bad. Itana. Whoa, I really miss those Luffer biscuits. Never seen the what Nutella biscuits, but I know you guys know Nutella, right? Duplo. I do know of it. They got the I've never Duplo had it. with the white chocolate. Holy moly, the Bravo is still around. When I was young, every time I was reading everything about Michael Jackson, <laughs> about everything in Hollywood, they still have the Bravo. To be honest, I'm not even... Oh, yeah, that's the guy... That's the kid from Stranger Things, right? I was trying to see if, like, how many of these people are American versus... Or is this an American magazine? No, it's got German words. What? Jetzt ist sie endlich rausgeflogen? She got kicked out? You gotta be kidding. <laughs> what is the little bit saying oh, about that? Oh. Who's this? I think it's I the know. former Bundeskanzler from Germany. The big scandal about Meghan and Harry. <laughs> Bild Zeitung. Bild was the first person. At I can't believe magazines like those still are profitable for them. Like, just go online and read it. Meghan and Harry. Who's buying this? Bild Zeitung. Bild was the first person at the scene. They even talked to the dead person. They told them the whole story. That's almost like the National Enquirer in America. I used oh. to read this paper every day when I was in electronic. <laughs> Some of those papers, though, they do have the most entertaining content like sometimes. Christian, when I had like a 30-minute break, I went to the restroom. I read the whole paper. Stern, <laughs> Elon Musk. Is that yeah, irre or genial? Is he insane or is he a genius? <laughs> I got about... <laughs> What do you guys think of Elon? Because they just opened up that gigafactory there in Berlin. Do the German people Genial. like him? Is he insane or is he a genius? A lot of people probably got jobs there, I right? got about 10 dogmas at home. I always brought it with me when I came from Germany to America. It's all how you use Photoshop. Really cool pictures in there. Look at this. That is awesome. Tells you how to do everything. How to use Photoshop. Once again, I don't know why you wouldn't now just look I do online, YouTube videos. I don't, that is don't really do cool. too much Photoshop anymore. It's always good to know, though. Michael Schumacher, Sensational Therapy. Frau im Spiegel. Boris Becker, the youngest Wimbledon winner ever, broke his mom's heart. Dang it, Boris. Never break your mom's heart. Never. I can't believe it. Nothing with Ben Affleck and J-Lo or the Kardashians. Households. That's a good thing. Electronic. Wow, a huge selection. Oh, those are cheap too, look. That is very cheap for 64. 64 gigabyte memory card. I don't, I haven't bought one in a while though. It used to be like almost a dollar per gigabyte. Germans like to wear those vests right there. <laughs> really? Okay, that's random. Germans like look. to wear those vests right there. Playmobil. Vollkornbrot. I I'm not much of a fashionista, so I don't have much to say about cool vest. Eiweißbrot, Schinkenbrot. Oh, I want to try the bread. Vollkornbrot. <laughs> Pumpernickelbrot. Oh, some German. Brot, Brot, Brot. Super Romana. Pizza Salami. It looks a little crispy for my taste. <laughs> 89 cents. Or you can get pizza margarita. 75 cents. I'd still eat it. 75 cents? It's a German pretzels. Uh -huh. For only 29 cents. You wouldn't see. It's, it's the subtle little things. Here in America, if you go buy a pretzel, a hot pretzel, you're not going to get that beautiful, like, tearing, bursting out right there. I can just imagine how soft and nice... It would all just look very like manufactured. German pretzels for only Looks 29 so cents. 29 cents, oh my God, I'd go crazy. Try to find bread like this. For one four to nine. Bonjour, a mom likes to buy the French baguette. In the main of mine, the moo and rose biz do. This one, mom. Oh, bonjour, son abré. Le frotté de brossé, des troncis à la serre, il n'y a plus. Here we got the Schweizer case, Schnittkäse. Man, sind die dick, man. Ooh. 
What? <laughs> what did he just say that look like? Schnitkeiso. <laughs> Mons and the dick man. Ooh. <laughs> Mom, are those fresh? No, again. <laughs> well, this is the first time for me being in here. This place is actually pretty big. It looks like about the size bucket. of a large American supermarket. Of pudding for one eight and nine. A bucket of this pudding. is the biggest size milk you can get here. What? I always buy one gallon, and they have like one point five percent fat or three point five percent. I can't drink this at all. I always one have liter. Here, I mean, it's mostly common to buy a whole gallon. Zero percent fat. The one I'm drinking. This one is so thick, I can't even drink. And it's at the Aldi's is where you get it the cheapest. Thank you, Aldi's. Okay. Gotta try the banana Müller milch. Man, this place is huge. This is not really like a Ralph's. This is more like a Target or Walmart. That's, that's what it feels like. Oh my God, they have... Yeah, this is more than just a grocery store. You want to learn a German word? Waschmittel. That means detergent. Waschmittel. Darth Vader, Star Wars, lightsaber toothbrush. Or you can get the <laughs> Spider-Man one. Schönheit und Pflege. Beauty. Schönheit und Pflege. What? I've never seen piñatas. It's a long word for just beauty. In Germany. I actually never met. Do the Germans not do that often? For like a little kid's birthday party? I a Mexican in Germany. Here, it's not just Mexicans that, that do that. I'll, that's like somewhat common at at birthday parties for children. Egg, wine. It's pretty common. Plenty of wine. Billy go. Cheaper. Billy go. That's what that means. They got Arizona iced tea in Krefeld? Dr. Pepper with energy. Whoa! How did you guys score that? Why don't we have that? Rockstar, Krombacher, Radeberger, Astra, Weltins, Warsteiner. I'm too used to the American piss water, okay? I don't think I could handle this stuff. Beck's beer. The Germans got all kinds of beer. I, I like a uh, Corona. Bierkasten. But that's not German. Bierkasten. This is another thing here. You gotta pack your own stuff. If you go to Ralph's or anywhere else, they pack it for you. But here, you pack all your groceries yourself. Look at mom. That's very common in, in the US now. Just went shopping. Mom, who's gonna eat all this? What? Who's gonna eat all this? Mmm. Oh my it's not goodness. Gonna be cheap. I thought it was just Americans who spent 500 bucks at the grocery store. <laughs> but you guys spend it on more healthy stuff. And the huh? next time <laughs> when you go shopping, you check out your shopping cart. That's another thing that's much better here in Germany. All four tires on the shopping cart move around. Wow. In America, only two back tires are moving around. Let me show you what I mean. I don't know why. Why do we... Look at this. This is like German engineering. What idiot in America decided to freeze the back two yeah, tires? You can really easy push. Just to make it like, it only makes it Those worse. Those cards. The ones for And usually, the two back ones, yeah, are frozen. And then the front right one is like, tilted off to the side and frozen like that. So it's like... Eh. That's about typical. From Rob's and all the other grocery stores, you can't do this. So check it out the next time you go shopping. I don't know what Rob's is, to be honest. I think, I guess that's an American grocery store in LA. So I don't know. Try to do this with any shopping cart in America. <laughs> this is a typical Trader Joe's cart. Yeah, there you go. And you see, only the front ones that move to the left and to the right. The back ones are welded on. And if you don't know, now you know. Germans like beer. Look He's at that. He could party for himself. I've never seen a shopping cart going sideways. You know, <laughs> I got to push it back. Now, most American, well, 
any like decent American does bring his shopping cart back. It definitely depends where you're at. If you're at Walmart, then uh, you're not you're not around. Some of the people there are not decent, but for the most part, they'll bring it back. But you don't bring it all the way back to the store. You bring it like into a little section in the parking lot. And then I get my plastic piece back, which would be normally one euro. That's cool. Vielen Dank für Ihren Einkauf. If you like the video, give it a thumb. Will do. Well, that was extremely fun. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I did and watching it with me. And thank you for watching. And uh, you can subscribe for some more German videos. You can take a look and look at these videos I'm going to watch. And some already I already have. Uh, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.